out of 10 people die. We're all going to die. But here's the good news. Jesus said this, I am the way. I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can get to heaven except for me. No one can get to the Father. So it's a bit like this. We need to imagine now, there's a ladder from heaven to work, okay? It's a big ladder from earth all the way to heaven. And that, and that ladder is called Jesus Christ. He's the only way to get to heaven. So though we've done wrong things, it's only through him. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, right, what, what is the best news you could possibly ever hear, okay? So if I could give you the best news ever, what would it be? What news would you like to hear today? Perhaps there's someone going by and you'd love to get a promotion. You know, a bit more money in your pocket. Maybe that's some good news for you. Perhaps someone going by, maybe you've got an illness. So anyone who can hear my voice today who's got an illness and you carry it all in your life and you'd love it if that went away. If today you could wake up and know that your illness was beaten, would that be very good news? Would that be good news for you? What about this one? Is there anyone going by who'd like to win the lottery? Raise your hand, if this lady's smiling, she'd like to win it. Would you like to win the lottery, okay? I'm asking you today, what would be the best news ever if you could win the lottery? Anyone going by now who'd like to get married? Is there anyone who goes on Tinder and you think, I'd just love to meet my husband, I'd just love to meet my wife, okay? So, is there anyone going, best news to get married? What about this news? That's actually my baby in that pram there, okay? I tell you what, if you have a baby, you won't get much sleep, but you'll get a lot more happiness in your life, okay? So I'm asking you today, what would be the best news you could hear? Shall I tell you what my best news is? Are you ready for it? I bet it's gonna shock some people now. But my best news is this, did you know this? I've got my death defeated, I know that 100% if I die, I'm going to heaven. And I'll tell you something else, here's the good news. It can be your news as well today. Folks, can I ask you a question? Do you know where you're going when you die? The Bible's very clear, there's a place called heaven and there's a place called hell. And all those who put their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, they have a promise that they will go to heaven. So I'm asking you today, do you know where you're going? Here's the answer. Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago, came into this world and he hung on a cross. They plucked out his beard, they smashed a crown of thorns into his skull, they nailed it between two thieves. Even though he was innocent, he died amongst criminals. And on that cross, the weight of your sin, the wrong things you and I have done, was laid on him. You know that time you lied? You know that time you got absolutely blasted drunk? You know that time you got into a fight? The time you maybe looked at things on the internet you're not proud of? sex outside of marriage, all these things we've committed crimes against the Holy God. And we might look good on the outside, but inside our hearts they're dark, they're black. And Jesus on the cross took the punishment for your sin. So if you put your trust in him, he can promise you that he can give you eternal life. Would you like that for yourself? Can I ask you a question now? I'm a married man, okay? Have a good look at me. Do you think that I've ever made my wife cry before? What do you reckon? What do you think, sir? Do you think I've ever made my wife cry before? I have actually, okay? I just said before, drunkenness is a sin. Looking at me now, do you think this man in front of you has ever got drunk before? What do you think? What do you think, lads? I have actually, okay? What about this one? Do you think these lips have ever said bad words before? Horrible words. What do you think? You're nodding your head. They have actually, okay? You see these fists. Now, I know I'm the dweeb. Anyone on this street could probably knock me straight out. But do you think that these fists ever hit anyone before? What do you think? Yeah. They have actually. But now ask me this question. Am I going to heaven? Yeah. I am. Not because I'm a good person. As you can see, I'm not. I'm a sinner. But because Jesus Christ on the cross took the punishment for my sins. And I'm forgiven because of him. Can I ask you a question? Young people, Muslim people who are listening, have you been forgiven of your sins? Do you know that if you died tonight, you could settle your debts and you could stand before God? Imagine tonight's your last night on planet Earth and God asks you this question. Why should I let you into my heaven? What would your answer be? Why should God let you, whatever your name is, why should God let you into his heaven? What would your answer be? Because you might die. You're already dead. So why, why, why would God let you into heaven? You might say, because you're... No, I'm saying, if you die tonight and you stand before God, why should he let you into heaven? You might say, because I'm a good person. 
because I go to church, because I, I give to the poor. But there's only one answer, there's only one way to heaven, and it's through Jesus shedding his blood and cleansing you and washing you white and snow. And it's all you have to do is get on your face and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me, I'm a sinner, will you save me? Here's a question now, is there any atheists going by in Preston today? Anyone who thinks, shut up, shut up street preacher, I don't want to listen to you, there's no such thing as God. Is there any atheists that can hear my voice today? Here's my question to you atheists. What would you think of me now if I said to you, Harry Potter's a terrible book? What if I said Harry Potter's the worst book in the world? What would you think of me? What if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before, what would you think of me then? We'd say read it first and then make a judgment. Don't say the Bible's a load of rubbish, it's a fairy tale, without reading it cover to cover. And I'll give anyone today a portion of the Bible. If anyone wants it, come and ask me and I'll give you a portion of the Bible for free. Would anyone like to take one from my hand? If you've got a Bible at home, make sure you wipe the dust off it, give it a good read and find out there's eternal life to be found in Jesus Christ. God bless you all, thank you for listening. I don't want to offend anyone, but let me tell you this. Buddha is dead. Mohammed is dead, Elvis is dead, Gandhi is dead, Attila the Hun is dead, Michael Jackson is dead, but Jesus is alive. That's why I'm a Christian. If any of you die, and then three days later come back from the dead, I'll follow you to the end of this earth. But that's why I follow Jesus, because he's the only one to bleed and die on a cross and then raise himself back to life. No one can find the body. Is there anyone who's ever found the body of the Lord Jesus Christ? No one's ever found it, and that's why we put our trust in him. He appeared to 500 witnesses. He split time in two. That's why we have our calendar measured after Jesus Christ, and he's the Son of God. No one in this earth has the right to say, no one has ever loved me, because all you have to do is look at the cross, and look at the great lengths that Christ went to on that cross so you could be forgiven. Please think about this message. I know some of you can hear me. You don't want to come and talk to me. You can hear this message. Christ Jesus loves